Catherine Howard was born in approximately 1523, although this is open to debate, as there is no definitive date of birth for her. It is also believed she was born in Lambeth, London. Catherine's father was Lord Edmund Howard, and her mother, Joyce Culpepper. Her father's sister, Elizabeth, was the mother of Anne Boleyn, Henry's second wife, making Catherine and Anne cousins, and Anne's daughter, Elizabeth, the future queen, first cousins once removed. Catherine herself was one of quite a brood of children, her mother having been married previously, and having five children, Catherine would be the tenth child of a total of eleven children, born of her mother. This productive state of affairs often left Catherine's father, one of twenty-one children himself, on the begging end of his relative's generosity. As was often the case in the Elizabethan era, children of noble households were often sent away, from about the age of seven years old, to be educated. Such was the case for Catherine, although as for her formal education, of Henry's six wives, Catherine was the least educated. Having been placed in the household of her step-grandmother, the Dowager Duchess of Norfolk, her education was not overseen by anyone in particular, as the Dowager Duchess was often found at court, and not overseeing the various wards left in her care. Such was the case that Catherine was allowed to run wild, and certain aspects of her education were neglected. She would also become described as giggly and vivacious, and not devout or scholarly. She would come to the eye of the king, Henry VIII, as was happened before, through the ladies' maids of his current wife. Catherine was no exception. Catherine's uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, managed to secure a place for her in the household of the current wife to the king, Anne of Cleves. After the annulment from Anne of Cleves was settled, it took only a matter of 19 days and King Henry VIII married his fifth wife. Although Henry's marriage to Anne of Cleves would become his shortest marriage, in this case the marriage was not consummated, and so their union was annulled. In the case of Catherine, sadly her past would catch up to her. Due to some unfortunate, and poor decisions, made on Catherine's part during her time with the Dowager Duchess, it was said that Catherine took up with Thomas Culpepper, a male courtier and favourite of Henry's in the early part of 1541. It would appear many subjects surrounding Catherine would be instrumental in her downfall, and ultimately in charges of treason and adultery being levelled at her. It would come to pass that the person of Francis Derham, who was previously in the Dowager Duchess of Norfolk's household, during Catherine's time there, would be instrumental in her being found guilty of adultery. Catherine herself determinedly denied any pre-contract between them, and steadfastly maintained that she had in fact been raped by Derham. Having been left in limbo until Parliament reached a decision upon a bill of attainder to be passed, which it was on February 7, 1542. Thus it was, that Catherine Howard was sentenced to death. The execution was carried out on Monday 13 February, at 7 a.m. She was buried in an unmarked grave, in the nearby chapel of St. Peter ad Vincula, 